This is a lesson on something extremely basic. It's so basic. And um, the reason I'm making this video is so, uh, I get this question a few times, but then I've also heard some really shocking and annoying stories as well, where it's like, you know, like you're just thinking, what, what, is, what, is, what is he doing? Um, you know, it's basic financial literacy, it's basic concepts of life. And the issue we're talking about here is where you have a student of knowledge, a talibul ilm, who, who instead of, you know, providing for himself and his family, which is the default position, which is what any man should do that has some self-respect and honor, he, he's not doing this, but he's studying ilm. He's, he's a talibul ilm, you know, he gets this buzz. I'm a talibul ilm. I don't know, there's some people out there, they just get this buzz of, you know, saying that I'm a talibul ilm, and it's really weird and cringe as well. Um, so, so, you know, they, they uh, look, I've been in financial stress before. I've been there, I've been broke. Okay, I've been in that situation. So I know exactly how it is. So you can't turn around and say, I don't understand. I definitely understand. And I know, I know for sure that, you know, having financial worry and stress every single day, you know, oh, month end is coming in to pay rent, or I need to pay this, I need to pay for the insurance, uh, you know, day to day as well. Like, you you know, you try to save like two reals here, there. Um, it's not easy. It's a, it's a big stress, it's a big burden, and it does not allow you to focus fully on your studies. And therefore, we come back to the essence, the basic, which is uh, financial literacy, basic concept of life, which is you need to provide for yourself and for your family first. And then the worst thing is I hear stories I hear stories where, you know, okay, you, you're, you're struggling for yourself, you're suffering, that's fine, okay? But when you have people relying on you, so you're married, you have your wife and your children as well, for example, um, you know, and they're struggling because of you, because you want to study ilm, that doesn't make sense, that's not acceptable. You know, that's completely unacceptable. These individuals, your wife, your children, they should not be suffering, okay? And then this leads to uh, depression, uh, mental health issues, you know, the wife being unhappy, that's not fair. That's completely wrong. You know, this is, it's, it's a form of oppression. This is basic stuff. You know, you need to provide for yourself and for your family first, and then you study ilm. Okay. And you don't have to be in Medina to study ilm, for example. Uh, you can study ilm at home whilst you're working. I know that the, the, the reason, look, the reason it, uh, it annoys me more. Is because I work extremely hard. I'll tell you straight. I work extremely hard to provide for my family and study. Okay, so that I'll tell you straight. I'm not showing sure off or anything, but I know I work extra hard to provide for my family because I know this is the basic. This is this is the essence, and then anything else, you know, tolerable. And okay, you'll get a hero that'll come back and say, "Oh wow!" But but you know, uh, we're, we're we're studying. Ilm. You how can you stop someone from studying? Ilm? This is for the kifaya. It's not for that. It's not necessary on you to be in Medina, you know, and making everyone else suffer. You can stay at home. You can have a full time job, and then you can study your little ilm online, for example. So don't come with me with these silly excuses. Uh, people, you know, people. You you find a lot of people in this sort of space, you know, with these sort of issues. They they use a lot of religious blackmail. That's what it is, you know. Oh, how can you say this? How can you say that? We're coming back to basics. We're coming back to basics of life. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi you know, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, He doesn't want you to, to burden everyone else, you know, th those that you're responsible for, just so you study ilm. It doesn't work like this. Um, so, you know, I, I, I graft. I know people, you know, they graft as well. You know, they, they do deadly 12-hour shifts in a warehouse so that they can have enough savings so then they can provide for their family. And then this leads, this leads to another point, which is, again, atrocious. It's ridiculous. It's, you know, it's... It's cringeworthy. It's like, I don't know what goes through people's heads, but, you know, people, are, are students of Islamic University, for example, or, I don't know, other places as well, they go online and they're begging the public for money. You're begging the public for money. How low, how low is your izza? How, how low can you get? You know, if it's financial literacy. You have to provide for yourself and then you do, and then you'll be a student of knowledge. Um, you know, it's a different thing if your family, your father, your brothers, your close family, you know, in the background, they're helping you. That's completely fine. 
you know, I've got nothing against that. And it's good, you know, you know how, how you'll get a hero that comes back and say, oh, well, they're studying knowledge, you should let them. Yeah, that's fine. In this instance, you know, you're, you're, t you're taking money, your father's supporting you, for example, and you're studying knowledge. That's good. You know, that's, that's, um, that's a reward for your father. And then also you're, you're studying knowledge. But if you go into the public, it doesn't look good at all. You know, so someone I can might turn around and say, why am I talking about students of knowledge in a negative way? But you're looking like a fool already. You know, pe you know, people have brains and people know what's right and what's wrong. Financial literacy is a very basic concept. So for you to go online and then start asking and begging, begging for, for money, it doesn't look good at all. Okay, so uh, get your financial affairs in order as a man. This is a very basic point. Your financial affairs should be in order first, and then talabul uh, ilm uh, comes. So, um, you know, I've been in these situations before. I've been broke. <laughs> Tell you straight, not ashamed of it. And I worked hard to get myself out of it. So it's all about working hard. You know, lazy people will come out with all these excuses. They'll try to beg, or, beg online, beg from other people. And this then becomes a habit for the rest of their life. And the athar, the athar, atharul ilm, you know, it gets depleted, it gets negated. Nas'alullah uh, as-salama wal I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ease the affairs of each and every one of us. You know, financial affairs, financial crisis, financial difficulties is not easy. And, you know, it's just sad that... Uh, the women have to suffer or, or your children have to suffer. It shouldn't be like that. Come on, man. You, uh, everyone should be content. You know, studying ilm, everyone, everyone should be content. Yes, there has to be sacrifices as well. I'm not saying, I'm not saying, you know, nobody has to make a sacrifice on the pursuit of ilm. You yourself have to make a sacrifice. And yes, your family, your close ones, they have to be understanding as well. I completely agree with that. But the financial side, you as a man should be providing for your family, that's it. Yeah, and there, there's nothing, and then after that, you know, there's other things after that, but the baseline is you should be providing for your family. I hope that makes sense.